Here we go. Gonna try and do a sweeper. Proper off the cuff. No idea really where this is gonna go, but here's a good start. So this is Micro Prism. You can get this free off of the Native Instruments webpage. It is the complete start package. It's pretty mad. It makes some sounds a little bit like... Oh, there you go, and then it's dead. <laughs> oh, where are we going? Yeah, shows what I know. Yep, pretty good. I like it. So, first up, I'm going to um, play one note on there and I'm going to do the, the old uh, pitch wheel at the same time. So... There's that. Okay. Now you just need to quantize that so it makes a noise when you hit it. Yep, that's good enough. Okay. Control B. Bounce that into audio. There it goes. Mute that one. And then I'm going to just turn that loopy off. And I, on um, Logic, you want to enable the flex time. Hold down Alt and time stretch it. I'm going to go double time. Obviously, some weird stuff's happened. I mean, if I play it, this happens. Yeah, you don't want that. So you want to come into this little bit for the flex pitch and flex time editor and just uh, select polyphonic then it all goes back to normal and you've got something like that's decent enough so you can't do much editing once you've enabled the flex pitch or the flex time you then want to bounce that otherwise you can't reverse it I don't know why I'm sure that makes sense but I don't know and I don't care, I just know how to fix it. So you bounce that one. And I want to bounce it again. I'll show you one in a minute. And we don't need that one, so let's just get rid of it. So we've got this. Okay, well you get your idea, you know what happens. Um, this one, I'm going to reverse it. And both of them, I'm going to set a automation. Oh, something going on there. Don't know what that is. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, cool. Click the um, volume automations at the end there. Give them a little double click. There you go. And then come down this end. And uh, it's up to you, you know, click them where you want. Your, it's your riser. Okay, let's have a little listen to that one. And just to make it a little bit wider, I'm going to go and pan that one off that way. Um, I'm going to come back over to here. I need... Oh, hang on. Now you're going to need to find yourself a crash sample. A crash symbol. It doesn't matter where you get it from. I found this one earlier. This one's going to be decent. There you go. Just drag it in. And I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to... What's the word? Yep. Yeah. Enable the flex. And I'm going to stretch it. I'm holding down alt, by the way, and then just dragging it. You never know what it's going to sound like until you stretch it out. It might sound awful. But who knows? Sounds fine. So at that point, I'm going to bounce that. Control B. 
and delete that one. I don't need him anymore. And then reverse this one. Okay. There's a lot of noise going on there. Just get the EQ, bring it like this. You only really need the high end of it. Damn, that's 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 noisy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna obviously bring the volumes of all of these down to start with because there's too much going on here. And then you bring the volumes down and then you remember that you've actually set them to automate. So what you do once you've automated them, come down here add them both to the same bus and then turn the bus down sorted and then you realize you turn it down too much it's fine it's fine this is just the fine this is just the mixing bit anyway Anyway, I'm going to pan that one to the left. I'm going to go and grab myself another crash. Let's see what else we can find. Well, that is a kick drum. That's not even a crash. What's going on? Uh... He sounds nice. Let's go and drag him in. Again, it's the same deal. Um, if I can even remember what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. Enable that. Enable that. Drag it. Oh, no. Because you, I always forget, you can't drag it in that mode. Now, there you go. Bounce it. Flip it and whack that across the other side. What have we got going on now? Obviously, that one's too loud. I think those guys are probably a bit too loud as well. Something's wrong. I'm now thinking, did I even put automation on the other one? Because it sounds a bit odd. Sounds like it's coming too loud. No, apparently I did. Ah, oh, there you go. I'm an idiot. I haven't muted that one. Oh. You have no idea how many times I've done that. You're there, you're tweaking it, you're tweaking it, like it's not making a lot of difference, and then you realize you still got the MIDI one enabled. And then your camera goes to sleep. Of course it does. Okay. Now, I'm not going to put these quite as wide as I've got them. Because there's not much going on down here. 
compared to here and it's a little bit offset, it's a bit wonky. I am feeling like this isn't one of my best risers. It's probably one of my worst, but there you go. I mean, that's how it happens, ain't it? So I'll go ahead, find another little um, bit of modulation. Normally I'll go for a phaser. We'll pop that on there. Let's see how that sounds. That's all right. Now you can put another little something on there. I mean, this is just an idea. Like I said, this one is sounding a little bit rubbish, but I'm going to go back on it now. I'll just keep going. Finish it off. You get the idea. You need a, a couple of bits of this, couple of bits of that, and boom, you've got a, a riser. Ha! <laughs> oh, where's my... There he is. Also, I haven't got a EQ on that one yet. Yeah, that will do. Something's happening, I think. I don't I don't know. It's okay. I mean, you get the idea. I mean, once I've done that, let's let's just assume that I'm happy with it, which I'm not, but ha. I would then go ahead and bounce it. All of it. We'll solo it for the moment. We've got this. I think I might even... I'm just going to shrink it. I know I stretched it out. I do that because it adds a little bit of extra effects and weirdness to it. But I want to shrink it back for this. And even doing that, you might find it adds even more weird stuff. Yeah, weird but bad. <clears throat> I don't really I'm not going to spend ages and ages I know I've said that like uh, quite a lot but this is another thing I'll do to them is split it split it split it control right click grab the fade tool Ah, damn, first you want the pointer tool, highlight them all, then go and grab the fade tool. Then you want to bring, yeah, make sure you're in line th there. That will do. Fade it to here. Right click the fade, slow down, and then let's have a little listen. Yeah, you. Oh, I'm not happy with it, but I'm not starting again because I'll leave the rest to your imagination and you can go and create them. I've shown you a little bit of a starter. I've fucked it up, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea. Last thing, obviously, you might want to do is um, you're going to want to add a bit of um, limiting stuff to it. I'll just be lazy and then I would just go ahead and put ozone on it. Give it seven hours while it wakes up. Obviously I want modern, I want intense. I don't know if you guys have used this, you literally just do that and you press play. 
I've probably not even got enough length on here for it to do its thing. But there you go. <laughs> yeah, and then that happened. It ran out, so... I'm not sure that it's going to do a lot now. It's probably going to be rubbish. Then your system overloads because you're too tight to get a new computer that works properly. Yeah, that's probably not even going to work. Ah, uh, not bad. Let's just assume that it's great. <sighs> ha! Anyway, hopefully it's been a little bit kind of helpful for you. I don't expect it's been very helpful, but you might have learned something. Or your brain might have burnt at how rubbish I am at doing that. Anyway, I don't care. I'm still going to upload it. Cheers!